I'm Annie McCarthy, and I'm a member of Our Lady of the Rosary Cathedral in San Bernardino. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Dominic, priest. Thank you for joining us on I God Today. Dominic was a man of great faith who was born in 1170 in Spain. It is said that as a student, he sold his books to feed the poor in a famine, saying, Would you have me study off these dead skins when men are dying of hunger? St. Dominic is also instrumental in bringing the devotion of the Rosary to us. The year was 1214. The story we hear is that Dominic went off into a forest near Toulouse where he stayed for three days and three nights where he prayed continuously. While he prayed, he wept and did penance in order to try to appease God's anger. He finally fell into a coma. It was at this point that Our Lady appeared to him, accompanied by three angels, and asked him, Dear Dominic, do you know which weapon the Blessed Trinity wants to use to reform the world? Dominic answered her that she knew better, because next to her son, our Lord Jesus, she had always been the chief instrument of our salvation. Our Lady told him that in this kind of warfare, the principal weapon has always been the angelic psalter, which is the foundation stone of the New Testament. Therefore, if you want to reach these hardened souls and win them over to God, preach my psalter. Our Lady Psalter would be refined into what we know as the rosary we pray today in the 15th century. Dominic became famous as a result of his mercy and his work. Several other prominent religious figures at the time petitioned for Dominic to be made bishop. He was a very humble man and refused at least three attempts at promotion, saying he would rather run away with nothing than become a bishop. Dominic remained steadfast to his mission to establish an order dedicated to promoting morality and the expulsion of heresy. In July of 1215, Dominic was granted permission to form his own religious order for this purpose. He was joined by six followers. The group followed a rule of life which included a strict routine of discipline, including prayer and penance. They also established a system of education. They frequently traveled to the countryside to preach. His order was confirmed on December 22, 1216. And in 1217, Pope Honorius III dubbed Dominic and his followers the Order of Preachers. Today, the Order of Preachers is known as the Dominican Order. Wherever he went, Dominic went barefoot. His only possessions were a small bundle and a staff. In his bundle, he kept a copy of the Gospel of St. Matthew and the Epistles of St. Paul, which he would read over and over again and it is said that he drew great crowds wherever he went. On August 6, 1221, at the age of 51, he gave up his soul to God. St. Dominic, pray for us. St. Dominic is the patron saint of astronomers, the Dominican Republic, and the innocent who are falsely accused of crimes. He is commonly depicted in icons with a dog, lilies, or holding a book. His hair always appears cut with a tonsure. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for the example of your saints in our lives. Reflecting on St. Dominic and the importance of the rosary in our daily lives brings a fresh reminder that it is a weapon against Satan and our Blessed Mother provided it to us to safeguard us. We pray it in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you.